Now as we continue our look into the arrangement, we're going to work now with navigating or jumping around and hearing what you want to hear or getting to where you want to get to in your song structure. Again, I've started with this project file, Vitamins by Jethro. It should be in your project file. And also again, it is part of a free download from the Ableton site of the Demo Songs Live Pack. Once this is loaded, I'm simply going to press my tab key to toggle over into arrangement view. I'm going to hide the lower detail section by typing Command Option or Control Alt on Windows and L. And also I've gotten the mixer section is hidden, so if you have any of these mixer buttons open, be sure and hide those now. I'm going to change my zoom, pulling down, relocating to the beginning. You can also grab the end of the zoom to control this. And now put our zoom to the complete song or arrangement structure. Now to play back, all you have to do is spacebar. We know this. But at any time, we can click up here in the scrub area, across this gray bar area, and playback will begin right where we click. Again, stopping with the spacebar and clicking down here. Also, you can click on a certain region or clip down here. It becomes selected and all its area becomes selected. And now spacebar. Spacebar will begin playback according to the beginning of the region or clip that we've selected. Here's a little one down here. Selecting and playing. Now our little selection markers up here take on the size of the current selected clip or clips. Now in addition to this playback technique we've seen so far, we know now we can jump to the beginning, double click on stop and spacebar. We can click up here in the scrub area. We can click on a selection or you can just click and drag and make a selection. And it follows immediately, very quick and clean and easy to move around inside. You can also zoom in. Let's zoom in before we look at some other features here. And now we're going to look at how scrub works by holding down the mouse. Now I'm holding down the mouse, still holding, keeps jumping back to bar 41 where I started. Now the length of that repeated section is determined by our global quantize. Let's pull this down to one beat or one quarter note as opposed to a complete bar. And I'll do the same thing, clicking, holding, right on top of the 41 inside the scrub area. Releasing, continues, now adding, two, three, four, release, you can do this anywhere. And that's another point you want to bear in mind as you're clicking around, if you get ready to jump to another space, it's going to jump according to this current quarter note selection. So let's listen. Now regardless of whether you click right on a beat or bar line or in between, the timing will stay the same as long as you click and release. Here we go. Now remember now we're at a quarter note resolution. Again, if I go back to a complete bar or group of four beats, then I'll keep the beat structure even. I'll never mess up and make it three beats long by jumping to beat one while we're at beat three. Let's follow now. Clicking. One, two, three, four. I'm going to click on three. So when it got to the next three, it jumped back. Let's watch that again. Playing. Clicking. Got the three here and jump back to this three. So it keeps your beat structure intact if you leave this at a quarter at a full bar. However, when you go to do that repeat trick by holding down on the mouse, it completes a full bar every time. That can prevent you from having some access to some cool looping effects. So you want to practice if you're going to pull this down below one bar. Okay, another aspect we have to navigation is locators. I'm going to complete the zoom out now. Grab this and pull it back to the end. And these are our locators here. Triangles, little pointers, 
with a name after them. So if you click on those, playback will begin from there. Jumping ahead, re-clicking on this, playback. You can jump immediately to another locator simply by clicking on it. Again, it's following our quantization on the global setting up here. You can add one in. I'm going to click right here. And we're stopped right now. And I click this locator set button. And we get a new locator simply with a number for a name. We can also do this during playback. Playing back. I'm getting ready to click the set button. Right after I pass measure 13, I'm going to click now. And it always puts a marker or a locator to the closest one bar, that's our global setting. And let's zoom in now. So even if I click, if I click before 21 locate set, it'll come in all the way back at 20. So let's begin playback. Since we passed 20, 19, I mean, I'm going to click close to 20, but not on it. Clicking now. And notice that even though I was right here, very close to 20, it went back to the nearest one bar marking, all the way back here. Now you can rename these, right click, rename. You can do that. I'll call this XYZ for now. Also, if you right click in this area, you can tell it, right click on that locator, loop to next locator. And then it'll automatically turn the loop on and get this going. Okay, that's a quick look at just how to navigate around inside the arrangement view. Next, we'll pick up with some basic arrangement editing techniques.